Hey guys, it's Amy at Zoe Beck, and I'm gonna do a tag today. I'm gonna do the DNF tag. This was created by Gunpowder Fiction and Plot. I first saw it on Bill Rutenberg's channel on Saturday, I think, and then I saw Ange with an E, and then I saw Steve Donahue's. So I have all their videos down below as well as the questions. I just think this sounds like a great tag. I was not tagged, but it sounds like fun. <laughs> so let's just get into it. Uh, question number one is, do you DNF? Yes. <laughs> I, I think it's pretty obvious that I DNF quite a bit. I don't, um, I don't have any problems DNFing a book. I make a decision that this book is just not working for me, or this is not the time, or I just don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to read this anymore or don't want to read this and I will DNF. So I don't have any problem DNFing books. Um, I'm not going to say I'm, I DNF as much as some people, but I definitely probably DNF more than a lot of people. I just, I, I really have enough books that I own, let alone want to read that if I am not enjoying the read and it's not compelling enough, there's no, I just don't need to keep reading. So Anyway, um, but there's a lot of reasons why you DNF, but I definitely DNF. Question number two is if you DNF a book, does it count towards the books read for the month? No. Now, I know there's some people who do who, who mark it and then they say why they stopped reading and stuff. I think I've heard that people have said that. I know people have talked about, well, I, but I put, you know, I read most of it and, you know, so I still count it. No, I don't count it until I, unless I finish the whole book. Now, so again, going off of Goodreads, I if I DNF a book, I will delete it off of my account. Going, I don't, I didn't touch it. Like it's gone. Like it's not anywhere anymore <laughs> there. So I don't have it in my as read. I don't have it connected to my books in any way. Um, but I do count the pages read. So when I do my stats, a lot of times I will still count those pages right because I did dedicate time to those that book and with those pages. So I have it in another stat that's on my own Excel sheet and that to me is where I show that. Um, but I do not count it as read. I do not say that I, you know, I, I'm not one of those people who say, yeah, I read it even if I didn't finish it. No. But anyway, so no, a DNF does not count. <laughs> as read for the month. Uh, question number three is, is there a difference between DNF and just putting it down for a bit? I would say yes. I have DNFs that are books that I will never touch again. They are done. <laughs> that we're not, I'm not touching those again or not reading those again. But I have a lot of books that I decide this is just not the time. I want to revisit this and I want to try it again at another time. This is just not the time for it. I just, or I got distracted by other books and then I just didn't get back to it. So it, like I've lost some of it, so I might have to reread it. So there's a lot of books that I actually put back on my TBR, either on Goodreads, I put it back to want to read or keep it in the currently reading if I think I'm gonna get back to it pretty soon. <laughs> I try to keep my currently reading pretty low, but it doesn't always work. Anyway. But I, I do make a distinction between books I am never going to touch again and books that are um, still on my TBR. So I, I think there is a difference. I, I do come back to books that I've set down and, um, you know, just that just it was just I say I'm going to keep I'm going to read those. Just it's just not the time for it right now. So uh, question number four is what popular book have you DNF'd? So I there's a lot of books I get from the library that I just try and then I just I don't really talk about it that I tried them, so I can't even think of what ones I've DNF'd that way. I know a popular book for, I mean, it's it's quite old, but I meant it's a, it's a book that a lot of people know about, and that's The Name of the Rose by Umberto Ecto, Echo. And I tried to read this <laughs> this year as one of my oldest books on my TBR, and yeah, I didn't get very, I got over 100 pages, and I just DNF'd it. I can't read that book. And I would think that that was pretty popular, especially back in the day when it came out. But it was just, it's one of those books that just, it didn't work for me. So yeah, I did, and I DNF whatever I want. So it doesn't matter if it's popular or not. As I said, I read a lot of different genres and different kinds of books. So there are some that are popular and some that are not. And it doesn't matter. I will DNF a lot of books. Um, what book do you wish that you had DNF'd? Okay, so I have two examples. One is a book I read last year that I completely hated that I wish I had not read all the way to the end, and that is Ghost Wall by Sarah Moss. I, I don't 
I, I don't know why people like that book. I don't, I mean, the beginning part, yes. I enjoyed the beginning to middle. And then I hated the end. I still hate that book. It was a waste of my time. I wasted my time reading that book. And every time I think about it, just thinking about <laughs> that it's good, I don't get it. But I hated that book. So that's just my opinion. And I didn't like the way it went. And I thought it was ridiculous. Um, but I wish I had DNF'd it, even though it is a short book. And the reason I finished it is because it was short. That is the only reason I finished that book. And uh, I really wish I hadn't. I wish I had just stopped when I stopped going, when I started going, what is going on? I don't like this. Anyway, so I didn't. And then a book that I wish, another book that I wish that I had DNF'd is a book I did DNF. So this is <laughs> one of those stories people talk about. I um, got Twilight when it first came out because my, um, everybody was talking about it. And again, I like um, vampire novels. I read a lot of them. Again, it was what young adult, well, I don't read young adults. And so it was kind of, I was kind of leery about it anyway, just because it was a young adult. So I read the first couple chapters and I went, oh no, I'm not reading this. So I got rid of the book. A year later, my friend just, pe just pestered me because I was coming to visit her that I had to read Twilight before I came so that we could talk about it. And I'm just like, I don't want to read it. And she's like, no, no, you have to read it. So I bought it again and I read it and I wish I hadn't. <laughs> so that's just my opinion. Again, you have to understand I'm old enough to be like beyond that at that time period. I'm not in the age group of, of the people who that was, that was their first introduction to vampires. I was way past that. I've been reading urban fantasy for years by that point. And to me, it was just ridiculous. So that's just me. Anyway, but that was a book I wish I had DNF'd a second time, but she made me read it so that I could talk to her about it. I didn't read any of the other books, nor... I mean, I watched the movies because she wanted to talk about it, but I didn't read any of them. <laughs> Hi, bye. Oh, wait, wait. Um, number six is, do you ever re-attempt to... Oh, re-attempt to read a DNF? Has this been successful for you? So, I do uh, try to um, reread or try to the DNFs that I decided to go back on my TBR, I do try to read again. The Name of the Rose was one of those. And I tried to read it when I was a teenager. And I got, I don't even know how far I got into it. And I just stopped reading it at some point. And again, I was a teenager in, in high school. I don't remember what was going on, what books I had to read for school or whatever. I don't know. But I stopped reading it. And I don't remember why. So it was left on my TBR all these years. And then this year, because it was one of the oldest books on my TBR, I decided, okay, I'm going to read it again, start from the beginning and read again and, and try to get through it. Cause I, it's a mystery, a historical mystery. I should love this. No, I hated it. Anyway, point is I DNF'd it another time and now it's, you know, it's going away. So it's, um, sometimes it does not work for me. Like it still was a DNF. I'm, I'm going to get rid of it now, but I gave it a second shot. So, but the one I give the most times that I will give something a re- attempt is to for a dnf is um a classic so like there's like uh jane Eyre. i had a friend who read me the first couple chapters of jane Eyre. like i knew the the scene where you know when she was a kid like over and over we read that but she never got me past that like i never knew what happened when she uh when jane Eyre was an adult kind of thing like it was i never really got that so i never finished the book because she never finished the reread and so um, it wasn't until later in my 20s that I finally, or in my 20s, when I finally read Jane Eyre for the first time. And I, I would have considered it a DNF because I just never picked the book up myself, even though I had a copy and I could have finished it after she stopped reading it to me, but I just didn't. So that worked because I did like Jane Eyre after that, but, and I've read it a couple times since, but it took me, as I said, it was technically a DNF. <laughs> and then uh, North Hanger Abbey is a good example too, because, um, I uh, read part of it in college and then um, I didn't finish it um, because I'd read a lot of the other Jane Austens that year when I was writing my paper for um, graduation stuff or, you know, for my end of year paper. And I was mostly focusing on Emma that year. So I didn't uh, finish it. And then 20 years later, I finally finished it. <laughs> so anyway, so again, classics I will come back to. So that's why um, I keep those DNFs are ones I didn't finish it because I didn't, I, I think I'll come back to those. Uh, number seven is what do you do with the books you DNF? I get rid of them. My dad will go through the books first and decide what he wants to keep because we're both hoarders of books anyway. So he will pick out what he wants and then I will sell or donate. It matters on the, the condition of the books. Um, 
or I'll sell first and then whatever is not gets sold, I will donate to my library. So they leave my house unless it's a classic. Classics will stay, um, which is why Weathering Heights is still here because again, I've DNF'd that twice and I'm hoping <laughs> at least twice, it's probably more than that. Um, but I'm gonna try it again this Victober and hopefully it'll, <laughs> I'll get through it this time. I really wanna be able to say I've read that book. Anyway, haven't yet. <laughs> hopefully I'll get through it this year. I just, anyway. Um, number eight is do you choose more or less risky titles because of your stance on DNF? And I would say, I'm not going to say I make risky choices, but I definitely am eclectic and I definitely read all different genres and I'm definitely more amped to just pick up what sounds interesting to me and try it. I do try a lot of things and I just, I don't always um, continue reading, which is why a lot of books from the library, I will get twice as many books that you guys will ever see is because I try them and I go, oh, nope, not for me. <laughs> or I don't, I won't count that because I only read like, you know, 10 or 12 pages and I go, no, I don't feel like that one. And then I'll just get rid of it because it's not, it's not a big deal to me. My books that I own, I am almost the same way with, I will try something and if I don't get along with it, I don't have to read it and I don't have to keep it. So I definitely, um, I think there are books that I buy that I don't like definitely at library book sales. I buy a lot of contemporary fiction that I'm not always sure I'm going to like, but I do uh, try to buy it to try to keep up with uh, some interesting titles that I hear about. I just don't always like them, <laughs> but I still buy them. So I don't know. I would say I, I allow the risk I give. I definitely take chances on read. Cause again, I read a lot of different genres. So I want to read a lot of different authors. So I take a chance. Uh, so number nine is to tag people. I don't know who's been tagged and who hasn't and who's done this and hasn't. Um, I'm only now kind of after a couple months been, I've been starting to watch more booktube now again than I have. So I don't actually know who has done this tag. So if you haven't done this tag, please do it and let me know you've done it. I think it's a fun tag, especially if you do DNF or don't DNF. And I just like to hear uh, people's reasons for, uh, for that. So um, I hope you enjoyed this and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.